Hey guys, I'm gonna do a review of the game that is Tegra only. And um and yeah, it's called Uber Strike the FPS. It is pretty much just an a multi online multiplayer uh a uh, first person shooter. It, it, they say Um, sorry. All this, uh, it, um, it, they say it's the first, uh, first person shooter with good graphics to have to be running inside the browser. So, yeah. But, uh, the game came out not too long ago. It came out this year. February 19th, 2013. And the version it is on 3, 4.3.10. It has been through hell and back with updates. This game has... I had it whenever it first came out. That's why I didn't want to review it until they had a new update and everything. So, yeah. Uh, let's just go here. It, the graphics do not look like they're Tegra powered. They look worse. Pretty horrible, <laughs> I'd say. Let's zoom in. I'm not gonna go into any uh, gameplay like with um, players. I'm gonna go into the explore level. And it, you see, it says made for Tegra, but as you can see, it has really bad frame rate right there. And uh, you can see you have a login can sign in with Facebook, sign up, or just sign in. I already have a sign in. So. Uh, and this is very fucking retarded and it's pointless. So. I won a mystery box. Like, it, it, it has the most pointless thing ever I've ever seen. So, um, you have a play shop. I'll show you the play options are you have start, join game, new game, explore maps, and back. You have a shop which lets you buy and try um, weapons, armor, clothing, things like that. Then you have all the secondary controls in there for what your player looks like. You can see what I mean by the graphics are pretty crappy. If you did, I would expect more better if it was for Tegra. If it was made for Tegra with good graphics. So, yeah. But, uh, whatever. I'm going to show you the graphics. It, but they also have ads of things of you that you can also buy uh, out with you can buy with the uh, and it, through the Android market, and they also you can buy credits, which you have credits right up there, and XP. No XP is right down here. Yeah. I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna show you a level that has um, everything that I want to demonstrate. Lost Paradise. I'll show you both what both controls. The controls are very, very, very stupid. Okay. Okay, you can see that I have um, the crosshair right there, and you can see I have the. This is the multi-touch, I believe, and you see I move around like that. But you put another finger on another. All you do like that to shoot. See, like what the fuck? And then you have this retarded little keypad right here, which. 
is a very fucking retarded and stupid. See? Like... It's... Sometimes you fall... What, what, like you come off of it and then you can't walk. So it's pretty damn stupid if you think about it. And, uh... But I'll show you the uh, second... The simple input. So the simple input is pretty much like you have your, your uh, aiming, your shooting, and you move around like that. You aim right like this. You cr you crouch, jump, and then you just move around. Has like a a joystick that is very clunky and weird. See, it's very slow and clunky, but it goes anywhere that your finger goes. So I'm trying. I'm not looking to the viewfinder. So it's, this is a, this way is the best way to move to even play. For by by default, it um it does the uh, multi input, which is really annoying and retarded. And uh, so yeah, and you can't. And another thing is you can't move these around. Like some other games can't let you do what you do. So you can't move these around to your personal liking. So, um, let me show you the graphics. You can see they look, let me get back up here, whoa, no, 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 sorry, looking at the screen. Um, let's look at the graphics, come on, dipshit, fuck you, you fall through pretty much anything. Like, see, it's, like, so you can see the graphics look pretty good like that. See how they look pretty good? Pretty good. Let's jump down. They're freaking pixels. They're freaking pixels. See that? Those are horrible graphics. <laughs> and the gameplay with shooting people is retarded. It's super fast paced, laggy as fuck. It's just very unplayable and unenjoyable game. This game is super under underdeveloped for the system. And also another stupid thing is that you get to play with. It even has a, has an option. If you want to play with people on, that have that are on the desktop, yeah, I, I sure would like to play against someone that has a desktop machine, or a lap, or any laptop, or any computer or that matter, with a unplayable, unenjoyable. Con I want to go up the fucking stairs. Go up the fucking stairs. Get stuck in the wall. And you can see, like, it's pretty much unplayable and unenjoyable to play on the system. I forgot to rate last game, which I believe that last game was Real Racing 3. I believe, out of 10, I would give that a 6. And out of 10 for this, I give it like a 4 at the moment. See, it, fuck. Move. And you can also see right here, you, fuck, you only have two two zoom settings. So, so yeah, I have nothing else to say about this pathetic game. It is a very freaking retarded game. Do not download this. It's a Tegu game, so it will drain your battery more than other games. It, it is, it's not, it doesn't even have, it doesn't even deserve to have the name Made for Tegra on it. And, yeah. I say, do not download this game. Unless you're wanting to f come across a terrible fucking FPS shooter that's fun for your mobile. It is not fun. It is aesthetic. So, yeah. 
thank you for watching. Um, if uh, please like the video if you enjoy my ranting about this pathetic piece of shit game. Well, I didn't lose anything, so so it was free. But whatever, it's a piece of shit. Do not download it. It will waste your hard. It will waste your flat. It'll wa it'll waste space on your nexus. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, please comment on the, down, down below what you thought about my ranting and my review. And, um, please subscribe for new videos, uh, every week, I believe. That's how I'm gonna have it. Every week, I'm probably gonna try to upload two to three videos a day. I mean, a week. Two to three videos a week. And, uh, yeah. J just because I'm gonna have... Cause I have I tell you, I don't find like I find the a game the week before and I re review it that whole entire week. I play it and find what my pros and cons and all that shit are. So I have enough time to review this. I got this game last week and they did not even have an update. Well, no, I had I had this game longer, but the first version was terrible, so I had to let it update for a while. I had to and wait for them to update it. So yeah. So yeah, uh, videos are already getting 11 minutes, so yeah, thanks for watching.